From Action Tab World Headquarters, this is T.A. Barnhart with another tab report. The bill to ban BPA in baby bottles and sippy cups is still live, albeit with a new bill number. So the question a lot of people have is, why didn't Brian Clem sign the discharge petition for Senate Bill 695? I went and looked at it at 445 and it was down five signatures. Sure. So adding my signature onto it only to have it die versus starting a brand new bill expressing my obvious support for the issue. By brand new bill, Clem is referring of course to House Bill 3689, the new BPA bill which he uh, is co-sponsoring with fellow Democrat Greg Matthews and Republicans Vicki Berger and Greg Smith and Berger just happens to sit on the Rules Committee where the bill will be assigned. For Clem, the issue is about more than the fate of a single bill, even one he supports. So I have never liked them as partisan instruments, uh, regardless of substance. But I, I, my, my own personal belief about them is if they actually are being used to put a bill on the floor to vote on, then you know, that's the appropriate use of one if the committee chair was being obstinate or something like that. And while there is no doubt that the committee's Republican co-chair or Republican co-speaker Bruce Hanna were indeed being obstinate, the other part of the equation did not add up for Clem. He didn't think that Senate Bill 695 had 31 votes on the floor of the House. As committee co-chair, Clem has more to consider than the fate of individual bills. But I'm a committee chair. Yeah. I killed a bunch of really uh, bad environmental bills. Once I start signing a discharge petition, what's to stop all the ones I killed from getting dragged out? And then the environmental groups have to spend all their time in the Senate hoping that those bills don't get out. I would prefer my bills st that I killed stay dead right where they're at. And I think part of doing that is being consistent about discharge petitions. So supporters of Senate Bill 695 were voicing anger at Clem and the other Democrats who did not sign the discharge petition. He was coming up with a strategy that he felt would be more successful. My principles say sign them under a circumstance where you've exhausted every other option. In the BPA case, I definitely felt like a bill with 31 co-sponsors gives us more leverage than me signing a discharge petition which in 15 minutes was going to die at 27 and instead it died at 26. Clem believes that with two Republican co-sponsors and all Democrats but Mike Schaffler, his bill, House Bill 3689, has the majority standing on the floor of the House that for Senate Bill 695 was only speculation. Consider Clem's previous success with a similar tactic. Well, I'll tell you, Hopefully I went through this with the Metolias. I mean, I had the option to make a motion to withdraw and make people vote on it. And I used uh, a tactic more like what I did on BPA to try and still advance it. In that case, we used a gut and stuff on the Senate side, put it back on the floor through a concurrence. So it got its floor vote. He not only got his floor vote, Metolius bill passed against the wishes of the Speaker. It will take a lot of work to ensure that the House Bill 3689 has 31 votes so that this bill moves forward. But if we can do that work and get the 31 votes on the floor, and if it does not move forward, this time it won't be because a few Democrats didn't sign a discharge petition. It'll be because the Republican leadership in the House blocked a bill that the people of Oregon and a majority of the Oregon legislature wanted to see become law. For the TAB Report, this is T.A. Barnhart. Goodbye.